always healthy relationships. So that's the code of trust. That's what we do in our behavior if we want to inspire people to want to align with us and want to build relationships with us. Now, for the new part, which is the book coming out in January, which is friggin' done, um, sizing people up. Again, it's not about sizing people up and judging. It's sizing people up and really, what can I reasonably predict you're going to do? And I came up with these six signs, and there's uh, I don't have time to go into all these sub-signs and the tells I have for these things, but these are six behavior signs that I was basically using throughout my career to understand what, what are you going to do? Can, I, can we have a healthy relationship? Because these are signs I'm looking at in other people to see are going to have a healthy relationship. And number one, vesting. I'm looking for signs in the vest. Now, granted, you don't have to have all six signs in an individual. I mean, most people in my life have like one, and it's really spiked really high. But that's okay. So I'm looking, one sign is vesting. In other words, they see, do they see themselves helping you to move forward in things that of your priorities important in you? In other words, are they willing to, to, to give their resources freely and willingly with no expectation or reciprocity for your success? That's a sign of vesting. That's healthy. So I'm looking for signs of that. My second one, longevity. Do they see this relationship as being long term? Or is it just something they're going to do short term? I think this is a great example, you know, the difference between the things I had to do for my career and maybe social engineering kind of get bits of information. That's a not there's no longevity sign when we're doing social engineering because we're trying to get limited bits of information over a short period of time. Doesn't mean it's unhealthy, doesn't mean anything else. It's just there's no sign for it. So I'm looking for longevity in someone. In other words, someone that says, hey, I'm happy to be part of your company. My lifelong goals is to, you know, like Chris. Chris, when he started social engineering, his lifelong goal was to build the company and continue to do these things. That's someone's got longevity. And the things, you know, him and I talked about back in Bristol, you know, it feels like, feels like 100 years ago, that was science longevity because we're talking about doing things that took 10 years to manifest. And also on this first sign of vesting, anytime I ever needed anything, anytime he ever needed anything, Whatever resources you need, Chris, whatever I can take care of for you, I'm there for you. I mean, I'm just even talking about getting ILF going. I mean, it was, it's, there's no holds barred, except legals, of course. <laughs> we don't do anything illegal, nothing like that. But, so, vesting, longevity. Third sign I'm looking for is reliability. And this takes a little time sometimes, but basically, can they do what they say they're going to do? Do they have um, the energy? Do they have the talent? Do they have the skill? Do they have the willingness to commit to these things? So basically, I'm looking for reliability. But here's the other thing, too. There's certain signs that are more important to me than others to have. Reliability, that's good, but there's a lot of things I can teach you to do as well. So it's an important one to have. It is a sign, but if you don't have some of the other signs, that might not work out. Sign four is actions. This is one of my ones. I, by the way, I suffer proud parent syndrome. I always talk about it. So always, that's why you see pictures of my kids in here. I went to Naval Academy. My son's at the Naval Academy right now. That's him right there on the silent drill team, which I formed 30 years ago. So it's like legacy. Um, and my daughter's a uh, senior at George Mason University being a nurse. Yay. Oh, Mason. <laughs> so yeah, we cover both ends of the spectrum in my family. So actions. I love action. Basically, past patterns of key behaviors. This is, this is the, you know, don't do stupid. And what's stupid? If I, you know, if you do the same thing again and again and again, but expect a different result, that's crazy. This is this one. If I, if I can observe you in your activities, your actions, your patterns of behavior, two, three, four, 10, 20 times, I now know exactly what you're gonna do next time. And now here's what's really awesome about it. If all of a sudden your patterns of behavior shift, well, something changed in your life. Now I don't wanna find out what that is because another, in other words, a priority change in your life that caused you to have a shift in your behavior pattern. And again, no judging, just trying to figure out because you're just observing what normal is for the human being. So this is the 